Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers, and today we're going to start on another uh, single manila folder wonder, or a one folder wonder. So I don't have a name for it yet because I don't know what kit I'm going to use. So the name of this video um, is going to change from video one to whatever it is. So I've got a prototype. And the first time I tried to follow it by my written instructions, it did not work. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to eyeball it like I did the first time and see how that goes. And I'm trying to figure out whether I used maybe a left or a right instead of a center folder. Maybe that's why it worked out. So let's see what we got. Let me put our little ruler away. So we're going to cut the tabs off one at a time so it's going to make it uneven you know what i mean one side's going to end up longer than the other yes i think it was a side tab that i did the first time i wouldn't swear to it but i think it was keep cutting these manila folders with my good blade instead of my cardboard blade I'm going to be in big trouble okay and we're going to close it how did I do that and then fold it in half this is going to be smaller how do I not know what I did? Oh wait, Amazon Basics. Amazon Basics, so it's in half. And then I folded it in half this way. Okay. So I was trying to fold it in half the wrong way. So I'm gonna fold it in half. Use the bone folder. So you're going to fold it in half on the long end, on the long side. And it's going to be uneven, but don't freak out. Okay, then we're going to open it back up. And we're going to get our scoreboard out. And we're going to score on the second and the third um, lines. So let's move that over. And the second line is here. And the third line is there. And they don't line up with anything. So we're going to have to move it over just a little bit. So that it lines up. Oh, for goodness sakes. Now we're going to do this one. This is going to be a gusset. Okay, here's a little TMI. The reason I'm having trouble at the bottom when I get close to myself is my bosom gets in the way. Uh-huh. So, for those of you who have trouble, just back up. <laughs> so, we're going to 
fold it on this one. Well, let's fold it on this one first. If it's going to be that way. Now let's see if we can fold it on the second one. Now we're going to open it up. Now, is it on our short side? Yes. We're going to cut from here to here to the second score line. So where we folded it in half along that line to our second score line. Sorry about that. I think I hit the mic with the paper. There's the first score line. And there's the second. Then we're going to go over on this half. And we're going to score it at one and three quarters, and that should make them even when we close them. And I don't remember which. Well, let's see. Oh, I am getting the ruler out. Yeah, one and three quarters. That'll make the long one. So one and three quarters on the long end, the opposite end that from what we cut on. So we're going to score in one and three quarters, one and a half, one and three quarters. Then we're going to cut the center of this. Wow, I think I got it. By Jove, I think I got it. Then we're going to cut the center of these short ones into the center. Now we're going to fold it in half. Yep, we're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to fold on the score lines. We're going to fold one back and one forwards. So we're going to fold one backwards, which should do something for us. It may not be exactly the same, but I think it's going to be close enough. Because this is lining up, but this doesn't seem to be at the bottom. Then we're going to fold one forward.
it's giving us our straight line over here. So maybe I made a mistake in my folding. Oh, we're going to have the um, gussets. So then we're going to open it and we're going to fold it in half this way. where we previously marked it. Go ahead and score it. Okay, now at this point what you have, we're going to fold it on this gusset mark. Where we did the one and then the one next to it, we're just going to refold those to kind of reinforce where we folded them. So we'll end up with the gusset line, gusset mark here, or the gusset here. So now when we nope, this one needs to go to the front. So you need to end up with one flap on the front and one flap to the back, not all the way to the back, but to the back, facing the back. This should be even, but it's not. So wonder what would happen if I trimmed it. to be even. Well, let's find out. disastrous happens. So now at this point, what we have, I'm going to fold it in half with our gusset, our little, little smaller gusset. Don't get tempted to fold it at that big area where the folder folds naturally. You want to go with the gusset that you made. Okay. So now look. So cutting it was, I don't know, but if we cut both, this did not happen on the proto. So now you're going to do the same thing that you did with the, with these two, with this, you're going to go one to the front and then one to the back and that will create your double gussets. Look at that, it actually worked. So now you're going to have this, and you open it and then you have the little one, which you can use as a match thing or not. Okay. Then you're going to have this, which is because this is closed, you're going to have to make a pocket out of it. Do we have it upside down? I think we do. You're going to have to make a pocket out of it, either at the top or the side. So if you go to um, open it and your opening is not at the top, then just, you know, flip it around because you have it upside down. All right. So we'll glue the top or the end together, depending on which way you want your writing card to go. And then you'll open this this way. And you'll have this, oh, right in here, you'll have that small gusset. And then over here, 
this will this will open or close this way towards your little flaps they always close towards your little flaps and that gives you your small gusset in here now that will probably work better for just taking up slack from space from things that you add versus um, adding writing paper now we could probably add writing paper on one and um, put an elastic band around it and I think that would work fine so you're gonna mark this one as the back I can't believe I did it again we're gonna mark this one as the front All right and then you can do whatever you want with these I'm gonna make mine little tucks so that I have a solid cover and a solid back and this one didn't come out as straight as my other one so I may use the proto as the real O <laughs> but you get the point it came out it just came out a little crooked yours once you if you fold it correctly lined up and you don't trim it when you're not supposed to then um, yours should come out even as well okay so um, let's see so that was only 15 minutes so let's make our pocket and I'm gonna glue mine on the side now um, actually before you do that you're going to need to paint it white or black or whatever color is going to match your paper I don't know what papers I'm going to use yet so I am actually going to stop this here and um, I'm going to decide what kit I have that I want to use and then um, you're going to want to paint all of your edges plus all of your folds so you're going to want to paint here and here you know and here and here and you're going to want to paint your gussets <laughs> both of them okay if you need to go like this to see where they are you need to paint them and then you'll need to paint them on the inside and then the top and the bottom and all the edges on this little flip okay so that's going to be your homework is to fold up your booklet and um, paint it all up and then pick out which kit you want okay so I know this is short but uh, I think that's good for putting it together <laughs> and um, I will see you in the second video and um, that's the end of this video and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Bye-bye.